on this week's episode of the Jesse T Show, the amazing and powerful Jeremy Wells, PhD and CFO of J Wells Service Firm. Business that's on the more uh, you know service oriented side, and, and really this applies to creatives as well. You know, the, and and I think this is a big part of what separates most employees from most small business owners is at first it's it's just purely getting over those internal barriers right the only barriers you have to success are internal you know it, that imposter syndrome right am i going to be good enough at this do i even know what i'm talking about to the point you know it, would I even help a friend out with this problem, much less charge you money to tell you what I would do in this situation, right? You know, that right, that right there is a huge barrier, um, especially, you know, not coming from a, a background in this field, um, you know, and, and these kinds of things. So really getting over those. Barrier? It's important because yeah, I had to break well, it too. Yeah. Part, part of that comes back to having that mentor um, yeah. because there have, there have been lots of con lots of times where, you know, I would, I would come up with this paragraph long explanation of why, because of this client's particular problem, um, I just didn't know if I was right for this. I didn't know yeah. if this was going to work. And he would just write back a very simple response. Usually, you know, something along the lines of everybody has imposter syndrome, get over it and do the job. You know, that, that's all, you know, answer the client's question that the client hired you because you know better than they do. Right. Yeah. Like that's that. And they're asking you the question because they want you to answer it for them. Right. That's what matters in that relationship. You're, you know, Put, put all the rest of that aside, put the pride aside, put the fear aside and just do the job. Um, yeah. and, you know, and, and, and I still struggle with that. You know, somebody that's been doing this for 20 years will still have moments of struggling with it, but you just yeah. get better at, with more practice, right. Of getting over that. And so I think that's part of it. I think another part of it is getting better at, and, and you know, this is one of the hardest part of hardest parts of being in one of these client focused industries is, you know, when you first start off, you think you need every single client to come in, you know, you need to close every single client and, you know, you get nervous when clients, you know, don't take your offer. And then you get to a point to where you realize, okay, but some of these clients I was so desperate to take that I ignored the red flags that came along with them. And so right. you start to be, you know, and you realize that, yeah, it was nice getting the payment from that client but it's been terrible trying to work with that client. They don't listen to me. They have more problems than I thought they did, than they disclosed to me early on. And now I'm just realizing it. And now they're blaming me for all these problems that they created because they weren't listening, you know, and, and, it, and the dominoes just start falling yeah. and you realize those red flags were there all along and you knew those red flags were there. You just chose to ignore them 